Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Makes it out to about the 46. They run the option, and it's the tailback who gives them an eight-yard gain on the play. He might have a chance, and down he goes around the 43-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. Got an opening. He's at the 20. And they make the stop at the 19. Game 14 on the way. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the eighth play of the series. throw he caught it and he is drilled at the nine yard line that's a gain of 13 on the play that makes it first and goal fires quickly and they got it touchdown that play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Cincinnati gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll get him for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. And he goes down quickly. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 32 yard line. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. That brings up fourth and three. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. 
I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Second and 10. Ball on their own 19. Cincinnati up seven points. They try to run up the middle, but met the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 48-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And they'll run him again. Nice run there. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it 33. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Cincinnati is up four. Blue 19, cut. That's a great tackle at the 20. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they finally push him out at the 49-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 34. Number 25 with the tackle at the perimeter of the line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. with room to work. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Call it a game of nine yards. That 
that makes it first and ten. Mike 38, Mike 38. Flexor, 98, Weezer! And he's got the junior. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Cincinnati is up by four. Here we go. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-3, Bearcats. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Hey, we got to get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. Let's keep Convert, moving. Convert. Mike 38. Mike 38. <laughs> and now he pitches it, and he's taken down around the 11 yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. rid of this one from their own 26 yard line it's third down Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. ready check check box two box two he goes out of bounds at about the 31 that's good for a game of five yards that makes it fourth and four And this one is a beauty. Oh, man, did he take a hit. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 39 yard line. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. First down. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And he tackles him hard at the 41 yard line.
He scrambled. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. That's a deal of 10. That makes us first in 10. Makes it out to about the 20. Gets out to around the 12. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. That brings him second and nine. Steps out of bounds at the 10. Pass complete there for about two yards and a first down. Nice play there to move the chains to keep the drive rolling. Up the middle for a nice game. Four yards. That brings him second and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. That close to being intercepted. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he adds the extra point. It was a 13-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 21-3. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Five wide. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Has it to the senior. He's tackled at the 43. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires quickly and he's got his man. They come out on an empty backfield. His man and they take him down immediately. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Number two brings him down at the 39 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. The Bobcats are going to call their second timeout. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That'll make it second and seven. They come out in a five wide set. Fires quick. He's got another one. Tackle at the 21. Throws a strike over the middle. And he's tackled at the 11. Rally! 
slings it. Touchdown, Bobcats. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Cincinnati's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Got a man. Watch out here. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Third down. He steps out the 37-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of two, of two yards. yards. First, First down. down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Caught a big hit there to stop him. The Bearcats will use their first time out of the half. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Blue and eight. Blue and Throws in the middle. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Box two, box two. First down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. The Bearcats using their third and last timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks away, and it is good. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 24-10, Bearcats. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look. You know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting them 
you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a D2 on the play. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it third and seven. Three down, three down. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. Slam, slam. There's a bullet over the middle. And a pickup of about seven. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. Oh, excellent punt. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it to the 32-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Quick throw. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Number 35 with the tackle at the 39-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Run there. Six yards. That makes it first and ten. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's taken down at the 47-yard line. It to the 48 yard line. He's on the run. Brought down at the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Out of bounds. Right around the 30. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. You got nothing today. You got nothing. Right in. Fox two. Fox two. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. That time, the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over it. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He has some room. They go to the left for a nice game. And he hits him hard at the 50. Right, 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 right. 
and he is drilled at the 48-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. They'll knock him down for a loss. Call it a loss of three yards. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 38. around the 31-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Quick throw to the tight end. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Cincinnati's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. That makes it second and ten. Gets out to around the 35. Bring up third and inches. He makes his way to about the 45. That's good for being 10 yards. First down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 24-13, Cincinnati. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Nice run there as they work the outside. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That's a loss of about three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From the 47-yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. This 
quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a deep and he tackles him hard at the 35. He tackles him for a loss. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and 15. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Let's go! Just throws this one away. Five wide. He's level at the 24-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle at the 42-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. The Bobcats taking their first time out of the half. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. That's good for yards. That makes it second and eight. Red 
And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Bearcats know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.